Well, what's good? So yeah, I'm, I'm making this for several reasons. Um, for one, I don't, I don't, hmm, maybe I have, <laughs> but it's been a while, at least, if, if, if I have indeed made a video with, with the Sky Hoppy as my focal point, and I wanted to do this because I love this dude, he's, uh, <laughs> we <laughs> uh, we got so many connections going on, and uh, a lot of us do, uh, to be honest. And uh, a lot of us that connect on the tubes. <laughs> it's uh, it's the astral tubes, right? It's uh, it's well beyond. Uh, it's it's getting to the point now where it's like. I feel you guys well before uh, like the manifestation happens. Uh, it's like instantaneous in, in the moment, and uh, I've been waiting a long time to feel this kind of stuff with, with people and uh, with some of y'all, which is another reason why I'm making this video. And if I go too deep in this, I may just have to put it as uh, unlisted or, or whatever. But so be it. Um. Pretty much the main reason why I'm making this video is, is for Danny Skylark, and uh, yeah, just hmm. I don't want to go into too much, but just. Uh, I feel quite a bit of what y'all feel, and, uh, some of it really, really <laughs> shakes me to my core, and, um, really has a strong effect upon me, and it's not a good or bad or indifferent, and, like, I I feel these things with you because not only do I want to, but I don't know. I feel like if we can feel each other on deeper levels, then we can help each other on those deeper levels. Uh, that that goes that goes beyond words. That goes beyond even imagery, because the imagery like stems from from the from the feelings, from from the love. So I can, if I can feel some of the hell that you guys are going through. Um, and and transmute that within myself, and then have you guys feel that as well, and tr help potentially help you guys transmute it for yourselves. That's that's the whole fucking point and purpose here of connecting like this on on deeper levels to help each other transmute and gain clarity into the feeling. And, uh, sometimes things happen in life where, uh, I don't know, dude, you just want to go back in your fucking cave, in your hole, in your, for in my case, in, in your shell, in your turtle shell, and just, uh, not, not communicate, like, with me, it's just, I, I came up. Um, in this lifetime, not being able to communicate very well with people, with the people that are supposed to be my family or supposed to be closest to me. And so, like, having 
certain traumas happen, uh, certain things happen where you uh, you close off. Uh, this is. Uh, hmm. This is why it's so very important to find people that you can, or even one person that you can communicate with on a deep, deep level that will feel you. And so you're not bottling up all these emotions and everything so that they finally express themselves in a way that may be uh, very destructive and have lasting effects upon those around you. So yeah, also one of the reasons why I wanted to make this is uh, if I don't do a live stream, uh, let's see, I'll, I will put this up tomorrow, so it will be that day tomorrow. <laughs> so as you are seeing this, it will be your night tonight. If I don't do a live stream, then and pull cards for you and, and whatnot, then I wanted to do it tonight. So, I pulled a card for the Skyhopper because he, he pulled some, some awesome, awesome fucking cards for people. And like he kept repeating, like, this is for all of us. And absolutely, like, definitely felt that. So, I pulled a card from uh, my tarot deck for him. I pulled a card for from my oracle deck for Danny. So, we will get to those at the end of this. Fucking emotions. Don't dull them. Don't, uh, I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do in the moment to, uh, get through the moment, but ultimately, you need to feel every little fucking piece of what you're going through, people, and I know sometimes, uh, we go through things that it seems like a fucking nightmare, like, it doesn't seem fucking real at all. It seems like I fucking made up a fucking movie or something that it's like okay, like this is this ends and then like we go back to how it was, right? But dude, sometimes it's so so fucked. It's so fucked sometimes. And it takes time sometimes to be able to integrate the th some of these uh, crazy fucking traumas that happen to us. This, and uh, a lot of times we can deal with shit, you know, externally, whenever, you know, it's it hasn't really gotten under our skin or into us yet. But whenever it's matters of the heart. Those fucking kill you, dude. In case you haven't already experienced um, some of the deepest love of your of your lifetime in this lifetime, and have that ripped from you in the worst possible way, and if you can tell from the vibrations of my voice. That is a, a pain that makes all other pain just illusory, laughable, really, because nothing else can, can hurt you, like, like whenever you're hurt in, inside your heart. So to heal from that, uh, It takes time, it takes um, awareness, it takes a very special kind of energy, and whenever you can connect with people that 
know your pain that can help you feel into it and heal can help you do the healing for yourself. <clears throat> then it won't be uh, quite as torturous upon yourself as when you have to go through it with not having anybody to communicate with, which a lot of us go through that, and a lot of us have, uh, hmm, fuck, a lot of us succumb to the, the, the dark temptations to where we uh, allow the loneliness and, and the void to take hold, and we allow those things to grasp our awareness and lead us down paths that only cause chaos and destruction. But out of the chaos can come order. Out of the chaos can come. Out of the darkness will come the light. Whenever you Feel into it. Feel back into yourself. <sighs> I could use you all around me. I could use you all around me. Well, we are. We are coming. We are here. We are all around, and we are also inside. It's not just what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside. And it's like... Yep. So, uh... Yeah, like, like I said, uh... I... I, uh imagined this to come about and uh, Skyhopper heard the call and he he opened up the channel the the foreheads that that I saw in my imagery together were me Danny and Zen Anytime I imagine foreheads coming together with you guys, Zen's always in there because he's the fucking Oroch. He's going to blast through the goddamn illusions. So he's always in there with his strong forehead. And uh, I will say I have a very strong headbutt as well. <laughs> So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that, that this came about and that pretty much every time I feel <laughs> something, y'all y'all hear the call and uh, vice versa as well. I can't say, when I come off this camera speaking, Square box. <laughs> it doesn't stop there for me. Yes. It doesn't stop there for me. I continuously um, um, eradicating the unnecessary within my life. Paul Skyhopper, you are one of the most beautiful people I have uh, come across and we've been through quite a bit and we are, we are way showers we are, we are showing how to reunite this bridge 
so that more people can do this within themselves. This isn't a show. We're not putting this shit out here. Just, just, <laughs> obviously, we're not just putting this shit out here to get fucking views and to get big and blah, blah, blah. Fuck no. I mean, look, look at our fucking subscribers. We, we keep that amount because that's, that's the kind of people that actually know how to listen and discern, d discern. <laughs> And yearn to learn for themselves. So these are the people that hear like on a deeper vibration beyond the words. They feel into the intention. They feel the vibration in our intonations. The authenticity in our voice. We are not seeking fame or recognition. We are seeking communion. And if you are with that, you will vibe with it. If you are not, you will do what some people do and, and trigger themselves, offend themselves, and uh, go away on their merry way into degradation and disillusionment. We're not, we're not putting this shit out here <laughs> just for entertainment, but we are kind of doing it for entrainment, as in entraining a certain vibration, a certain connection. We are, we are showing a, a glimpse we are, we are showing a piece of the iceberg, at the very tippy top of the iceberg. And then what we do, you know, off camera, what, what we do that we don't display are uh, layers and layers, multitudes, levels and levels deeper than, than what we put out here. Know this. We're not fucking about. This level of engagement. This inner gnosis. These inner standings that happen. We are trying to get more people to connect with this kind of connection, this kind of depth. And any who do not, they're just going to bounce off of it. They can't even penetrate what we are about, people. Hold your ground, feel who you are, and all the shite will just bounce off of that. And you can't even touch it. It cannot touch you unless you allow it. Don't allow it. Easier said than done sometimes. Whenever your heart's involved, like I previously said. But what can help mend those bond broken bonds is people that connect very deeply. And feel you for who you are beyond the beyond the persona and beyond the words into the heart into the love into the light into the love and sometimes it's painful 
to let go of things that we have been so conditioned into over <coughs> even just this lifetime. Mm. Uh, okay, let's go. Danny said she's hosting a party. Beautiful. <laughs> All of you, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Danny, we are already there, love. Feel our love around you. Without, yes, without a shadow of that. I mean, I, I will, I'm, I'm going to tell you, when I get down to the bottom, I'll start my little story. <laughs> I'm going to try to fast forward here a little bit. And I get that. A communion with you. Spiritually, I'm talking. I do care. You've got my attention. When you have got my attention, there's a reason. And so I will sit. I will observe. I will listen. I will feel. Exactly. I will, sh I will stop the thought. Yes. So the only thought that comes in is your thought. And I get then a communion with you. Yes, yes. But also what he's saying is uh, he allows inspiration to happen. So inspiration happens in the moment, but he is fully attuned with the muse. And he chooses the muse, and that is you in the moment. And this is how we... Uh, We gain our abilities to choose our realities. We choose what it is we want to focus upon. We choose what it is we want to allow inspiration. We, we, what, what we want to allow to inspire us. And uh, even in the darkness... It is our choice how we choose to transmute things. And even in your darkest fucking holes, your darkest of hells, it is up to you how you choose to bring forth the light in that dark within that darkness. This is the process that we are doing here now, is transmuting, we are flipping the scripts. And taking all these things that have been uh, subjected onto us and turning them around in upon themselves. If you haven't noticed, it's becoming more and more obvious. Of the fuckery and the bullshit that is happening. And that's going to reach a very potent peak. Very, very quickly. Because there's not much more that the, uh, the human spirit can take. There's not much more that the... Uh, Earth Mama will take before she decides to uh, reset, but that has been postponed because a deep felt love and connection has been engaged. And that strong love, that pure clear the clarity within that purity of the few has been allowed to spread onto the many spiritually i'm talking about and uh, you get the seven senses now, we only use five of them, but the other two senses are so important, which is thought 
and feelings of the heart. Mm. And it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of determination, a lot of passion. Once again, I've been getting a lot of seven. A lot of seven energies going up to gas stations. Um, oh, look at this. I happen to pump pump number seven. Oh, what is this? Someone pumped seven, seven, seven in gas. <laughs> Just everywhere right now. Pain and suffering. I don't give a fuck who says. If you haven't gone through the pain and the suffering, mm. and you haven't surrendered your body, and you haven't surrendered some of your habits and hobbits, mm. then you ain't going to get anywhere. And you're only fooling yourself. And we know that, don't we? My we man. know through our own expansion mm. that there is something happening, isn't there? So that then what? That then gives you comfort, doesn't it? It gives you comfort in the knowing that you're not going crazy. Exactly. You're not alone. Exactly. You know? Um, so when you are in your darkest moments, when you are in that dark place, mm -hmm. you are not alone. Thank you. And uh, you, once again, you choose if you want to feel... If you want to cut yourself off and isolate yourself, that's your choice. And we can do this in benefit. We can isolate ourselves in solitude and find our sanctuary and really get down deep into the inner gnosis of beingness. But whenever we are going through uh, dark times and we feel that we are alone, a lot of times it's our outside um, perspective our outside uh, influences are going to encourage us to to think that we are indeed alone, that we don't have that many people supporting us, or, or any people, depending upon your situation. And once again, like, listen to the sound of my voice, the, the vibration, I, I know this experience how to come up out of it and how it's not always that easy of a thing to do whenever life whenever the the things happening in your life are just pouring upon you thing after thing layers upon layers and you you don't know what to do anymore you you feel like you're trapped and you don't feel like there's anyone you can communicate communicate to or anyone who will really understand what you're going through and also a lot of times we don't need to communicate with anyone because if we can just meditate, if we can just dissolve into the isness, into the all, then you don't necessarily need to always communicate with people. And it's it's not the same thing as bottling things up. It's finding your own way to release whatever that needs to be, whatever that needs to be, whatever, however it manifests for you. If that manifests in uh, just you finding some kind of a fucking groovy jam to just dance to and, and just dance it out and whatever you need to do if you need to have a, an intense workout to just get it out and sweat it out a, a run a jog whatever expression that needs to happen for you whatever speaks to you just just do it engage get it out It doesn't necessarily need to be in, in a place where you, you talk to other people. And yes, that can help. But also, yes, that can hurt as well. Because you have to be careful about who, what type of people you talk to. Because there's a lot of people that enjoy the pity party. 
and they want to continuously engage within the pain and not the healing. So you have to be very wary about who, who you engage with. You think you're about And then... <coughs> you get these persuasive... Mm. You get this persuasion. And it's, and, it, and it's this persuasion you have to use discernment on. Yes. And you, if you don't use discernment, you're lost. Everything. Everything. Everything you do, you need to use discernment. You have to. In everything, even when you have um, come across somebody and you've known them and, and all that, you still need to use discernment. That's beautiful. I mean, seeing from a higher perspective, seeing what other people, if that's where your focus is, seeing what they have experienced or what, what they are experiencing, why they are choosing a certain point of awareness to communicate from, So using discernment to, to find truth, this is what it means to be a truth seeker. Using your sword, your double-edged sword to cut through the spells and of the spellings. To see clearly within, the sword is within you, it's within all of us. We can use we can use something as a tool, or it can be used as a weapon. And if that's the case, then it's only going to cause destruction. So use the sword to slice through illusions. Don't use the sword out of a strong emotional response of anger or. Whatever it may be, we have to use our swords and our words wisely, our energy, and we have to discern how to use our energy wisely, energy management in everything, no matter what aspect of life you want to engage, energy management is of the utmost importance. Okay, so now I'm going to show the cards that I drew. <laughs> With my flashlight. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this one's for the Skyhopper. Let's see what we got. The Six of Pentacles. Hmm. And I will read from the booklet.
<laughs> okay. Ooh, that's interesting. Well, I mean, this is exactly what you just gave. Six of Pentacles, Charity, a smiling youth dressed in rags sits amongst a building. A little dog curls up in her lap. She holds her open palm out to a richly dressed man caressing a set of balances in one hand and a pentacle in the other. Five more pentacles grace the stone wall behind them. The Six of Pentacles shows people sharing resources. Traditionally, <laughs> this card has presumed the superiority of the giver. Yet, it may be that the rich man holding his scales remembers how others have helped him. If you find yourself in need, expect help in some form with your financial situation, an inheritance, a grant, a gift, or simply some useful advice. The human heart holds a profound capacity for generosity. Be sure to be thrifty and to explore creative ways to meet your needs. Charity is not to be relied on as a lifestyle. If you are doing well, share some of your abundance and remember offering to teach someone a new skill can be just as valuable as money. Actually, that's way more fucking valuable than money. Uh, yeah, I had to read a little bit slower there because I couldn't really see. Uh, I'm in a little bit of darkness. <laughs> but uh, the, the true essence of this card is... It's of the heart. It's a sharing of the heart. And you will receive a giving of the heart. And this is, just, this is just how it works. And you will come to know this the more you uh, dive down deep into your inner gnosis. Your, your experiences of what it means to be alive. What it means to love. What it means to feel. What it means to be a human. Ooh. And so it goes. And now, oh, where's the flashlight? A card for the Skylark. That's interesting. I think I just pulled that cord. <laughs> The crocodile, but I mean, I did, I did my shamanic ceremonial thing here, so that's interesting, and uh, very Egyptian vibes as well. Xix. Let's 
see if I can find this. Aha! Keywords. Power. Tenacity. Protection. And I mean, that's essentially like the essence of us Leos. I mean, for me personally, like, I have not come into my power um, until, I don't know, l later in, in this lifetime was I able to really start to touch upon uh, my true uh, essence. Ooh, this one's going to be hard to read. I, can't, I don't have the light. Aha! Uh, I have the light now. Whether it be in Egypt or Australia or beyond, the crocodile is feared <laughs> wherever it appears. Their sharp teeth and tenacious jaws can kill Instantly. <sighs> Their rough skin makes them especially immune to attack. In ancient Egypt, this ferocious reptile was worshipped in the form of Sobek, a fertility deity associated with the creation of the Nile. As such, he was granted the honorific of Lord of the Waters. Mm. Yeah, this this is <laughs> I'm feeling this one. So Beck was renowned for his sometimes unpredictable power and strength. So this is uh, this is very much. I'm sure you feel what, where I'm coming from with this. This is a... Uh, a foreshadowing. Of what is to come. But it's it's more going to be what is felt. Because you know all this. Renowned for sometimes unpredictable power and strength, which led some to consider him a force of chaos. Hmm. Others believe Sobek protected his followers from crocodiles and other forms of attack. Oh, I gotta change pages here. One second. Got it. The crocodile card suggests that it is time to marshal your forces. How can you protect yourself? Alternately, it offers encouragement to be as tenacious as possible. Remember, tenacity can be a form of protection. Which, which I know you know well. <sighs> it 
and uh, this this goes right along with Skyhopper's readings and, and uh, getting back into the gnosis of of our true nature and our uh, not just our fiery nature, but uh, utilizing both polarities, use that, utilizing the fire and the water, and uh, returning back to homeostasis. And that's very much easier said than done when your heart has been ripped out of your fucking chest. Uh, that shit takes fucking time to heal. But the more you feel, uh, the less you numb yourself, which which uh, most people have been indoctrinated into doing is is numbing down uh, the the emotion, the pain, and yeah, that's sometimes that's just a part of the process because it's too much sometimes. Uh, so we got to numb some of that down, but don't get stuck in the numbing. Come out, come up out of it. And uh, whenever you engage with with people that have gone through it, that that feel you, and that's that's going to help you to. It's going to be your your healing balm. To help you find the release that you need to have. And it's it's still gonna take time. We we can have these these kinds of releases and uh, these deep level uh, inner knowing, inner gnosis experiences. But it's still gonna take time for for the body to adjust for the trauma for for the the vibrations that has happened within the body. The body holds the memory, the memory. The body holds on to this because we are mostly water. And we don't realize and recognize how our body holds on to the memory. So we have to constantly keep be being vigilant in how we are programming our cells, our body, our waters. So yeah, I'll end it there. Uh, I also wanted to say, uh, I was going to recommend that uh, Skyhopper, you loop your Orin, and you said that you were, so right on, dead on, fucking mm, bingo bingo, my dude. You know what's up. So yeah, just... Fucking big shout out, big hugs to y'all. <sighs> You're only ever as alone as what you have decided, what you have chosen you are. But in truth, we are all with you in the heart. We are all right there with you. And you can call upon us at any time. All you have to do is feel deeply in a focused state. A single minded focus into that love. And that will dissolve all the illusions that you have. That you have been taught to and believe and engage in of separation. We are all right there with you. We love you. We are you. Peace.